Good day. In this video, we're going to show you the rule we are going to use with integers if we multiply or divide integers. If you multiply any two numbers in maths, the answer will always stay the same. 2 times 3 will always stay 6. And if we multiply a minus 2 with a plus 3, the answer will be minus 6. And now the rule being, if the two signs are different, the answer is a minus. Minus 2 times minus 3 will give us a plus 6. If the signs are the same, the answer is a positive. Plus 2 times minus 3 will give us a minus 6. The signs are different, so the answer is a minus. Plus 2 times plus 3 is plus 6, because the signs are the same. If they don't put a sign in front of a number, we know that it's going to be a plus. So this is a plus times a minus will give us a minus, because they are different. The last answer is also a minus because we have a minus 2 times a plus 3 equals a minus 6. The signs are different. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Luckily for us, division uses the same rule. 8 divided by 2 will always give us 4. Now if the signs in front of these numbers are different, the answer will be a minus. If the signs in front of them are different, the answer will be a minus. And if their signs are the same, the answer will be a positive and so on. Also remember, if there is no sign in front of a number, there is a positive. So a positive divided by a negative will give us a negative because they are different. Please stop the video and get your brain around this rule. So remember, if you multiply and divide and the two signs are different, the answer will be a minus. The two signs are the same, the answer will be a plus. If there is no sign, it means there is a positive in front of that number. Also remember, if you ever see two brackets right against each other like this, it always means there is small multiply signs between them. Now please stop the video and try and see what the answers to these questions are. Positive 2 times a negative 4 gives us a negative 8. They are different and we are multiplying. And I trust you got the answers of the others right. Please stop the video again and try and get the answers to these division sums. Yes, 10 divided by minus 2 is minus 5. It's a plus in front of the 10 divided by a minus. Gives me a negative answer and 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now, well done if you got the other 3 right. Now, let's see what happens if we multiply 3 negative numbers together. The negative 2 times the negative 2 gives us a positive 4. Then positive 4 times a negative 2 gives us a final answer of minus 8. You try and find the answer to this product. Yes, this minus 1 times minus 1 is going to give us a positive 1. Keep the positive 1 and multiply them now. Final answer, positive 1. You try the next one. See what the final answer is. One way of doing it is multiply the minus 3 with the 2 gives me a minus 6. Keep the minus 1. Now we multiply these two. Final answer, positive 6. You might have done it in a different way, as long as you get the same answer. Please stop the video and try the next one. A possible way to do it is to multiply the positive 2 with a negative 2 gives you a negative 4. Multiply the positive 1 with a negative 2 gives you a negative 2. And now we multiply these two again. Final answer, positive 8. Please stop the video and get your brain around these two questions. Now let's see a few other things that you must look out for when you work with integers. When you get a sum like this, you first work out the top, then you work out the bottom, and then you divide it into each other later. So minus 2 times minus 1 gives me a positive 2 at the top. Keep the minus 2 at the bottom. Final answer, minus 1. The last three sums of the video, you try and simplify this. This means minus 2 times minus 2. Final answer, plus 4. Be careful of the next one. Let's show you how to calculate it. The square is not part of the minus, so it's minus 2 times 2. Final answer, minus 4. The last calculation on integers in this video is this one. Bracket, minus 2, all cubed. It means we must times minus 2, times minus 2, times minus 2. The first two brackets together will give me a plus 4, times the minus 2. Final answer, minus 8. Please stop the video and get your brain around these three sums. 
Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. You may message me at this number to arrange personalized lessons in mathematics. Enjoy integers.